St. Peter's Basilica is not only the spiritual heart of Christianity, it's also the biggest church in the world. It took 120 years to build it brick by brick. It now took only two years to create its digital replica, pixel by pixel. It's called the People's Basilica, a perfect 3D model of St. Peter's from the ground up. A technological miracle built by Iconem, a French company specialized in the digitalization of heritage sites, and Microsoft. From December, visitors will be able to explore the Basilica through interactive rooms. Those who can't travel to the Vatican will still be able to experience its history and architecture through the interactive website. Iconem took over 400,000 high-resolution images of St. Peter's Basilica from multiple angles. Then Microsoft processed them with its artificial intelligence to create a perfect digital twin accessible on-site and online. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Like windows into this temple of art and spirituality. One of my favorite parts is when you come visit St. Peter's, you stand on the floor and you look up at that dome and you cannot actually see what's there because it's so far away. But using this technology, you literally, as if you're flying through the air, you look and you get there and you realize that is the face of God. It's, it's almost as if it, it allows you to get closer to God like it, that. It does. And then the other thing that's remarkable that I wouldn't have ever imagined was then you can, with the images, then look down at the Basilica as God sees it. Among the first to watch the 3D Basilica was, of course, Pope Francis. At a meeting with those involved in the project, the Pope warned about the dangers of artificial intelligence, but also said its correct use can be useful and that products are good not only when they work, but primarily when they help us grow. The digital basilica will not only allow people and the Pope to admire it up close, it will also allow historians and restorers to preserve it. That was the other aspect that we were able to do, to get all of these photographic images with such minute detail and to use an AI algorithm to identify where there are cracks, where there is missing tile, so that the people here can restore it. So I, I do think we've created something that will make this place special for generations to come as well. The physical basilica was built and decorated by Renaissance artists like Michelangelo, Bernini and Raphael. Almost 400 years after its completion, it had been turned into a masterpiece of digital art. Claudio Lavanga, NBC News, the Vatican. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.